Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget uh, upgrade series, looking at green card draw still. These are non-permanents that do green card draw. So yeah, once again, this is kind of like building off of a previous series on Mardu card draw. So we did everything except for blue now. And blue, I'm not gonna do card draw on because it's blue. hit like and subscribe it makes such a big difference it really really does so anyway yeah I nag people all the time I shouldn't so what is budget for this video is 50 cents or less so even lower than my usual one it's usually two dollars but I'm looking at 50 cents now and that's the TCG market value not a sponsor nope go to so what is the standard card you look at when you're doing this it's a good thing to keep in mind when you're looking at other options. So yeah, harmonize. A two green green, draw three cards. A sorcery that lets you draw three cards. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, four mana though. That's a bit high. For green card draw, I guess it's not that bad. But if you're looking at like, for blue for instance, if it was three cards in blue for four mana, you'd be like, wow, this is a terrible, terrible card, right? Anyway, 18 cents for that one. Number five, Explorer. Okay, so this is Wonder Green for a sorcery. You may play an additional land this turn and draw a card. So getting cards to your hand, or getting, sorry, lands to your hand is much easier than like getting them to the battlefield in general. So you've got things like Analyze the Pollen, which is my favorite tutor right now. It's under a dollar, and if you cast it for only one green, you can exile, or you can exile, I think, eight mana costs from your graveyard and go find anything you want, or just cast it and not exile and then go get one basic land and you'd be able to put this straight into the battlefield so yeah it's a uh, very easy to abuse anyway so an extra land is always helpful 18 cents only number four is blessing all right so one in a green for this sorcery Target player shuffles up to three cards from their graveyard into their library. So if you're looking for a recursion, green can do it much better than this, right? Getting something back to your library isn't really all that appealing when it comes right down to it, but also draw a card. So maybe you do want to get things back to your library. If you've got some kind of like a lot of tutors or something, you might be able to make good use of that. And the card draw is nice, but what's really good about this one is this next paragraph here. When it is put into your graveyard from your library, shuffle your li graveyard into your library. Oh boy. So yeah, if this goes straight from your, your library to your graveyard, so essentially if someone's milling you or you mill yourself, everything, your whole graveyard gets shuffled back. Basically, if this, as long as this is in your library, you can't lose to mill. It turns off mill strategies. Anyone who's trying to like, yeah, mill you out, just automatically can't do it. As long as you keep this in your library, you're golden. Whew. It's a great card to include just in case, you know? And if you know someone's gonna play that mill strategy, you definitely need this card. Anyway, 30 cents. Number three, Ash Foliage. Two and a green for this instant. Put a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature into token into play. Uh, blocking target creature attacking you, draw a card. The card draw is a nice little bonus, but it's, uh, it's really about like getting that blocker out, right? Especially if you've got some kind of like uh, token synergy or a uh, sapling deck, this can do a lot. This can really like hit them hard if like they're going for an attack and you're like, oh, now you're you're blocked. And especially if they got something like Menace, you block them and that your token's going to go to the graveyard. 
and maybe you've got something like uh, Mirkwood Bats where they take one damage when it enters and then take another damage when it leaves. So you've turned their attack into like damage for them and you, you get card draw instead. It's just so abusable in so many ways. You do want a deck that where it's got the synergy, but there's just so many different types of synergy, like Aristocrat, Token, um, Sapperling, whichever, but yeah. Anyway, 15 cents. Number two, Adventure Awaits. So this is one in a green for a sorcery again. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may, may reveal a card, creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand this way, draw a card. So this is especially great when you're looking for, like, you know what you want or you know the type of thing you want. You probably have, or you hopefully have a whole bunch of those cards that do the thing that you want it to do in your deck. Then you cast this and you, like, search through the top five cards. If you find a creature you want, great. Reveal it, put it into your hand. If you don't, put them to the bottom of your library, draw a card instead. The May is really big here, because if in six cards you can't find anything that's going to help you, um, maybe you're going to lose that game. I don't know. Like, But yeah, this is really, really nice. Gives you a lot of control over what is coming into your hand. Essentially, it's like a scry five, draw one. Like, whoa, that's not bad. Anyway, 10 cents. I guess the squad is only for a creature, but still, very good. Number one. This one's scary looking. Hunter's Insight. Two and a green. This is an instant. Choose target creature you control. Whenever that uh, creature deals damage to a player that, or planeswalker this turn, draw that many cards. Green is all about those big stompy creatures, right? And they're going to like get in and do some big damage. Even if the, you've got like trample, they'll still get through and do the damage. If you've got whatever, if you've got some kind of evasion, even better. But the point is, you're going to do a nice amount of damage, and then at instant speed, you're doing this combat trick where it's like suddenly you get to draw a bunch of cards on top of it. It's really the salt on wounds kind of thing that I like to see in decks sometimes. Anyway, 19 cents. A list. Okay, so we've got Explorer for 18 cents, Highest Blessing for 30 cents, Flash Foliage for 15 cents, Adventure Awaits for 10 cents, and Hunter's Insight for 19 cents. Alright, take it easy.